California, in the state of California, dams and persistent drought conditions are making it difficult for salmon to reproduce. Hatchery programs are working to breed salmon in captivity, but the process is flawed and one scientist claims he's found a way to create a matchmaking service. CCTV's Mark New explains. At the Warm Springs Hatchery in Northern California, scientists tag and scan male coho salmon. Researchers need to know how often each one has been used to reproduce and whose eggs will be their best match. A three-hour drive away in Santa Cruz, California, 11,000 fish tissue samples arrive at this lab each year. Geneticist John Carlos Garza leads a team that extracts fish DNA, puts it on a chip, and then builds a matrix that determines which coho salmon are related in order to avoid inbreeding. The do not mate list can include hundreds of potential mates. We are determining on an individual fish basis um, who mates with whom. We are ranking all of the potential mating partners for each individual female salmon. It is, in that sense, a matchmaking service. The matrix is relayed to hatcheries, where the leading males are retrieved and sperm samples checked. The female salmon are killed, but their eggs extracted and fertilized. It may seem cruel and unnatural, but this is about survival. At the Warm Springs Hatchery, around 200 female coho salmon spawn here annually. That results in nearly 200,000 offspring reintroduced into nearby waters every year. Since we started this program, we've seen the number of adults coming back to the watershed increase almost every year, with the exception of these past few drought years. So I would say that without this program, there might not be any fish out there. If you don't pay attention to who's related to whom, you will end up with fish that will have higher rates of deformities. Historically, hatcheries have probably contributed to the decline of a lot of salmon populations. So we are trying to reinvent the hatchery processes. Garza admits when humans think they know better than nature, they usually don't. But as researchers observe coho salmon populations go from near extinction to healthy levels, Garza says for now, they'll keep working to mimic nature as best as humanly possible. Mark New, CCTV, Sonoma, California.